Hi everybody, welcome back to another step-by-step -step video. My name is Kim and I'm really glad you're here. Today I'm going to be talking about BitLocker. What is it? Do you need it? Well, hopefully I'll answer those questions for you. What is BitLocker? Well, it's an encryption feature that's built into Windows 10 Pro. It's not available in Windows 10 Home, only in Pro. Um, it helps you encrypt your drives, well, the data on your device to keep it protected from prying eyes. What encryption does is it uh, scrambles up your data, basically. Um, it creates a secure environment for your data. Once it's set up, you don't have to do anything. It'll automatically protect you. It runs um, as part of the login of your computer and um, it's pretty much seamless. Uh, what version of Windows 10 do you have? If you're not sure if you have Windows 10 Pro, I'm going to show you how to find out. So follow these instructions. Down by the start button is a search box. Type in about your PC and then press enter. I'm not doing it. You're just going to have to do it because uh, I don't want to exit out of my thing here. Um, and then you'll scroll down to the Windows specification section and your version will be listed under edition in like this area of the page, like this little, and it'll tell you if it's uh, Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro. If you have Home, unfortunately, you will not be able to use BitLocker. But can I upgrade to Windows 10 Pro? Of course you can. They're never going to stop you from spending money. Microsoft will always allow you to upgrade. Um, so it's very easy. Uh, you go to the Microsoft Store. So that's down by the Start button. There's a search box. Type in Microsoft Store. And then in the search box, once you get into the store, enter Windows 10 Pro, and you'll see a little link to click on that will let you update. This is not free. You will have to pay for it. So once you pay for the upgrade, you install it and then you'll be good to go. You'll have Windows 10 Pro. I don't know how much it is um, because I don't have Windows 10 Home so I can't click on the link to uh, upgrade so um, I'm not sure how much it is. When you buy it retail it's about 80 or 90 dollars difference in price so it's probably going to be comparable but I, in my opinion it's worth it. Um, anyways, okay. So what is encryption? BitLocker encrypts your data, but what is what is that? What does encryption mean? It basically scrambles your data so it cannot be read without decrypting it using a recovery key. So without the recovery key, you will have no access to your data. So if someone steals your laptop and your data is encrypted, but they don't have your key, they, there's no way for them to read your data. It's just going to be all a bunch of scrambled mess. Um, the key is created when you first encrypt your data. And then um, BitLocker uses your computer login to authenticate you. So there's no extra logins needed for this encryption process. But uh, make sure you have a secure password on your computer because if, if you have an easy to guess password or if you walk away from your desk and leave your computer unlocked, then what's the use of being encrypted? It's not going to save you anything if someone can just uh, walk up and get all your data. <laughs> so pick a nice, secure, long password. And every time you step away from your desk, lock it. You can use the Windows key, press the L will lock it. Or you can do Control-Alt-Delete and then lock it. Uh, don't walk away from your desk leaving it wide open. It's just not a good idea. Okay, so moving on. Okay, why do you need this? Well, it secures your data in case someone steals your laptop or God forbid they steal your whole computer. They take out the hard drive, they go to try to put it in another computer, whatever. It's going to be encrypted. They won't be able to get any of your data. It's just going to be all mishmash. Confidential data would be bad in someone else's hands. So if you have banking information or business information, you want that information encrypted. You don't want someone else to have access to it. And maybe you just want peace of mind knowing that your data is safe. 
so uh, those reasons alone are good enough <laughs> to set up BitLocker. Uh, what will change? Well, BitLocker is not obtrusive. You probably won't even realize that it's protecting you. It captures data about your computer to make sure that the drive has not been stolen and put into a new PC. So that's a, that's a bonus part right there. So not only is the data all uh, encrypted, it also knows which piece of hardware this drive is supposed to be in. Once your computer powers up, it compares the info, the computer information, and it verifies that it's you. So if it's been put in another piece of hardware, it's not going to work. Now when you log in, your, um, it, let's say it's you logging into your own computer. Um, it checks your login, make sure that your login is correct and nothing looks fishy and it lets you start using your computer. BitLocker may ask you for your BitLocker key or your pin if it senses something is off. So let's say it does uh, see that your hardware has changed. If you don't have your BitLocker key or your pin number, then um, it's not going to let you in. So make sure you keep track of that. So first you need to type BitLocker in the search box. On the page that comes up, click the little box to turn on BitLocker. It's that easy. Back up your recovery key. It is very important to back up your recovery key. Without it, you will not be able to access the data on your computer. On the same page where you enabled BitLocker, look down a little and uh, choose how you want to back it up. Do not save the key on the device that you are encrypted. You can either save it to your Microsoft account, if you have one and you've logged in. You can save it to a file. Like I said, don't save it on the computer. You can put it on the computer for a second and then move it over to a flash drive or something. Um, and you can print the recovery key. I recommend printing it even if you choose to save it. Print it as a PDF and save that file somewhere. Email it to yourself a couple different ways. Um, maybe send it to your spouse. So you'll have your recovery key. So that's uh, very, very, very important. So that file you want to save somewhere secure and you also want to save the key as you printed it. Don't print it on a piece of paper. Print it, you can put it on a piece of paper and maybe put it in a safe. But I would save it as a PDF. Um, so that's all you have to do to back up your key. And then the next thing you do is you choose what you want to encrypt. You can encrypt the used disk space only. So if you have a two terabyte drive and you only use 250 gigabytes of it, it will only encrypt the 250 gigabytes, which is quicker, obviously, because it's only encrypting that little bit. And it only encrypts the parts of the drive with data on it. The rest will not be encrypted. Or you can encrypt the entire drive. This takes a bit of time, obviously, because it's going to do the whole two terabytes, not just the 250 gigabytes. But you only need to do it once. So you can start that um, encryption and go do something else and come back. I would recommend doing the entire drive. It will encrypt everything. So next, you have the choice to select an encryption mode. So the new encryption mode is the best for most people. This mode um, is especially good for fixed hardware, so internal drives. So if you're going to encrypt your main hard drive, that's what this is for. If you're going to encrypt a flash drive that you take back and forth to multiple computers, then maybe not. But if you're running a newer version of Windows 10, you also want to use the new encryption mode. If you're running something older, um, you need to update it anyway. So get to the newest version of Windows 10. Uh, the compatible mode, that's um, if you're encrypting an external drive and you may plug it into an older version of Windows 10, only because if you use the new encryption mode and then you plug it into like a Windows 7 computer, some really old Windows 10 computer that hasn't been updated, it may not work. You may not be able to see the data. So um, I recommend upgrading all your computers to the newest version of Windows 10. There's no reason not to. Okay. So now the last little thing before you click on encrypt now 
is the BitLocker system check. It's, um, you don't have to do this. You can just start the encryption, but I recommend doing the system check. What it does is it makes sure that BitLocker can read the recovery key prior to encrypting the drive. If you skip this step and there's an error with the key or something, you can encrypt your drive and not be able to get your stuff off. So just click the little box next to run BitLocker system check and then click on start encrypting. So it's just an extra safety feature. It'll uh, check it first before it does it. Your computer will restart and the encryption process will begin. And while it's encrypting, you can still use your computer. It'll work in the background, so that's not a problem. If you decide you don't want to use BitLocker anymore, it's so easy to turn it off. Go down to the search box in Windows and type in BitLocker again. It's going to take you back to that same page. Click the link to turn off BitLocker. It's just a little slide button, and that's it. So now you've turned it off. So it's a great feature. Um, it's just an added layer of security. If you don't save anything on your computer, and you just play games and stream movies, then you probably don't need this. But if you've got pictures on there and data, financial data, tax records, um, anything that you wouldn't want someone else to get their hands on, this is a really good way to protect your data. So I hope that cleared it up for you. Um, I can show you real fast. Let's see. Show you real fast what it looks like. Okay, so here's the BitLocker page. So I just typed in BitLocker down here to search. This is what it looks like. This is where you turn it on. I can't do it because this is a not a normal uh, Windows installation here. That's why I couldn't really go through this all with you. I thought it would give me some, but I, obviously I can't see any of it. But um, this is where you turn it on, and this is where all the steps will be all on this one page. So you'll be, once you turn it on, then you'll do your key, then you'll do choose what you want to encrypt, then you'll choose your encryption mode, and then you'll click the little you know, box that says enable the BitLocker system check or something like that, and then click encrypt. And it's, it's very, it sounded like a lot of steps, but it's actually pretty easy. And uh, yeah, so it's just all on this one page. It's inside control panel, but you just go to type it down here, BitLocker. Anyways, so that's it for today. I hope you learned something new and I hope this makes more sense to you now. Um, so please click like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.